and as they're finalized, by the way, Scott Nelson won the Republican primary for Buchanan County Presiding Commissioner, and our Quinn Ritzdorf is in the newsroom with updates. Quinn. Yeah, so Quinn uh, definitely had been covering that presiding commissioner uh, race, and uh, really, Scott Nelson kind of pulled away with it. Yeah, a little surprising. I was expecting it to be a little bit closer, but uh, Scott Nelson obviously won pretty handedly by about 2,000 votes in that Republican primary for uh, presiding commissioner. And despite this being his really first time running for political office, again, you can see right there, uh, won pretty handily for that presiding commissioner. I spoke with Nelson after the votes came in. Here's what he had to say about the, the victory. My aim is always to serve and not for self-interest. And I think that was the main difference between the two candidates here. Uh, my, my experience for three and a half decades in serving this community, I think, showed. I will do my best to fulfill my promises that I, did, that I made, and that was to make sure that I watch tax dollars and how they're spent. Nelson will now move on and face Andrew Gibson, the Democratic candidate in the November general election. Of course, more news uh, here locally. Uh, the county use tax also passed, as you can see on, their sc on your screen, 59.27%. So on pretty that commandingly vote. there. Yeah, yeah, pretty commandingly. And that was also uh, somewhat expected. I talked to a lot of voters um, out of the polls. And of course, Clayton, you've been keeping up on the state Senate race. Yeah, so the state Senate race is one of the races we've been very closely watching. As you can see on the screen there, um, we're still waiting for a few of those counties uh, and presets to report as this stretch is 19 counties, so a really big district. But right now, Rusty Black into a commanding lead with 65.3% of the votes and Jay Eggleston in second place there with 24.6% of the votes. Rusty Black, he ran a very aggressive ad campaign, was all over the radio TV, spent a little over $100,000 just in one reporting cycle on ads. So obviously it paid out uh, for him as we're going to continue to have more on that online at newspressnow.com yeah. when that becomes official. Yeah, and then turning back to a little bit, some more local results, St. Joseph School District voters uh, backed the proposition read by a margin of 70.9%. Uh, the result means current school taxes will remain in place and won't sunset at least until the end of the decade. And of course, more results are rolling in and we'll continue to have updates on our website throughout the night. All right, Clayton Anderson, Quinn Ritzdorf, thank you very much.